Ever wonder why the tips of your fingers wrinkle when in water for some time? Well, wonder no more. It was once widely reported that water immersion wrinkling was the result of osmosis. That's water being pulled into dead skin cells, cashier in on our epidermis that would cause them to swell. The swollen outer layer of skin, still tightly attached to the layers beneath, would then wrinkle due to an increase in the surface area. A quick Google search will show you that this idea is still widely circulated, even by some otherwise reputable sources. While it might have some minor role, we now know osmosis resulting in skin swelling is not the main cause of finger wrinkling for several reasons. The first is that only fingers, toes, and the bottoms of your feet tend to wrinkle when wet. If osmosis was the reason, all parts of your skin would wrinkle in response to wetness. Now, some have suggested it's because the outer layer of the skin is the thickest in these areas. As such, it would be more subject to swelling and wrinkling. The problem is that measurements have shown a decrease in finger volume when wrinkled, and not an increase, as would be the case if swelling was the cause. The most damning evidence that osmosis is not the cause of finger wrinkling is that if you cut the sympathetic nerve fibers, those that respond to your fight or flight response to the person's fingers, they will no longer wrinkle in water. For those who don't want to let go of an osmosis-mediated answer, never fear. Water diffusing into our porous skin is thought to cause the reaction by our sympathetic nervous system, leading to vasoconstriction. It's the vasoconstriction that is the cause of the wrinkling digits. In the 1930s, Dr. T. Lewis and G.W. Pickering noticed patients with damaged median nerves, one of the main nerves in your arm, that can affect the movement and sensation in the hands did not have their skin wrinkle in areas connected to that nerve. Since this observation, there have been several studies that have confirmed vasoconstriction as the main cause of water immersion wrinkling. The debate among researchers is exactly how the sympathetic nervous system gets stimulated by water. The two leading hypotheses revolve around electrolyte imbalances in your epidermis and an overproduction of sweat by your sweat glands. When water diffuses into the many sweat ducts of your hands and feet, the increased water volume creates an abnormal balance of electrolytes like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride, and bicarbonate. As one study notes, altered epidermal electrolyte homeostasis would lead to a change in membrane stability of the surrounding dense network of nerve fibers and trigger increased vasomotor firing with subsequent vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction through loss of volume leads to negative digit pulp pressure, resulting in a downward pull on the overlying skin, which wrinkles as it is distorted. The degree of wrinkling would directly depend on the change in digit tip volume and implies any process including loss of digit volume will precipitate wrinkling. Other researchers looking at the cause of the increased nerve firing have cited an equally plausible scenario, and that's overproduction of sweat by your sweat glands. Those who posit this cause agree that it's the sympathetic nervous system trying to maintain homeostasis within the epidermis. However, the cause in their view is a loss of the surface tension created by sweat droplets when outside water is introduced. Normally, your sweat glands at rest produce sweat at certain pressures. That droplet is then evaporated depending on the environment that you're in. In the water, evaporation is absent. The result is a sweat droplet that potentially continuously grows in size. The researchers calculated the pressures involved and found that the total pressure of atmosphere and water at depths of 10 centimeters was 667 millimeters of mercury. The total pressure exerted on the sweat droplet by the sweat gland was 1,260 millimeters of mercury. The much higher pressures pushing on your sweat droplet cause a free flow of sweat from the body. In response to the excessive loss of sweat, they concluded, to maintain homeostasis, the sympathetic nervous system triggers a reduction of blood flow to the hands, causing the vasoconstriction and eventual wrinkling of the skin. Other factors, including the temperature and tonicity of both the sweat and water, as well as the depth of immersion, also influence the formation of wrinkles. No matter the exact mechanism causing our sympathetic nervous system to fire off like we're being chased by wolves, the result does give us a gripping advantage in wet conditions. In 2011, Mark Changizi, an evolutionary neurobiologist, was the first to propose this idea. The hypothesis was confirmed by neurobiologists at Newcastle University in the UK in 2013. Along with the advantages in wet environments, they found wrinkled fingers gave no disadvantage in dry conditions, suggesting a superiority in one situation while not diminishing our protection in another. So next time you're washing dishes, be thankful that your fingers wrinkle just a little because it gives you better grip. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos every day of the week. If you're looking for something else, why not check out our podcast? I'm linking to that below as well. And as always, thank you for watching.